Hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. It's around that time right here on KAZ Radio where I have one of my most favorite ministries, none other than the voice of love with Apostle Leon and Margie Nelson. Take it away, mm -hmm. Apostle. Good afternoon, family. Let me tell you where we are. We're in this spot with the Lord where we're seeing a revelation that's necessary to trigger everything that's necessary for the rest of your life. You know the foundation about we're talking about developing the mind of Christ. We know that's wisdom, right? Wisdom is the mind of Christ that gives instruction that leads to victory. First Corinthians 12, 3, B, though, is so crucial for the kingdom lifestyle that we want to start right there today. All I need is your agreement. If you agree now, the Lord's going to speak to us, to speak to you that word that he wants to give life to. You should remember now, you're going to hear something. You have to take possession of it in meditation because in meditation now, it's like being pregnant. You catch the word and your meditation increases your imagination and you see yourself being who he said you are. So here we go. Let's agree so we can do what the Lord wants us to do. Say, Father, Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, developing the mind of developing Christ, the mind of Christ is crucial now for me. Is crucial now for me, and I understand. And I understand without the Holy Spirit, without the Holy Spirit, it can't happen. It can't happen. So I'm willing. So I'm willing to submit to submit to the Holy Spirit to the Holy Spirit and His teaching and His teaching like Jesus did, like Jesus did. Amen. Amen. Listen to this verse now, First Corinthians twelve three b. This what it, says. it says, and no one can really say, Jesus is my Lord, except by and under the power and influence of the Holy Spirit. You know what we've done now the last couple of weeks? We showed you in John 20, 19 to 23. We showed you in Luke 24, verses 48 and 49. The disciples, the apostles got born again, but they didn't have no power. Remember that family? They got born again, but they didn't have no power. Jesus got them born again. When he breathed on them that first Sunday, that first day of resurrection, he breathed on them. They got born again, but he told them, go and wait till you get power. All right? Then it was so powerful. Acts 1, 2, and 3 tells us when Jesus came back from the dead, watch the Holy Ghost done it. The ministry started again. He described himself for the 40 days. He was doing convincing demonstration, unquestionable evidence, infallible proof. But then, baby, look at 1 and 8. Acts 1 and 8 now describes what we can do. And what we want to do today is expand Acts 1 and 8 and show you what it's talking about. But you shall receive power ability, efficiency, and might when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends, the very bounds of the earth. Isn't that a powerful verse? Describing their ability. He's describing their ability now. So let's look at what he was really talking about. Mm -hmm. In John 14, and 12, listen to this statement. Jesus saying, I assure you, put your name there. He's assuring me, most solemnly, he's telling me. As I steadfastly believe in him, he himself, watch it, I myself will be able to do the things that Jesus did. I'll do even greater things than Jesus did because he went to the Father. Mm -hmm. Baby, that's a statement. Yes. Jesus is telling me now as a disciple, that what he did, I could do, and more. Luke 4, 18 now describes what Jesus done in the earth. What did he do in the earth, show? in Luke 4, 18? What did he do in the earth? I didn't have that one. Luke 4, 18. It is so rich. What did Jesus do? He said we can do what he did now. That's so let's see said. what he did, though. What did he do? Luke 4, 18. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Look at that. Because he has anointed me 
the anointed one, the Messiah, to preach the good news, the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to announce release to the captives mm -hmm. and recovery of sight to the blind, to send forth as delivered those who are oppressed, who are downtrodden, bruised, crushed, and broken down by calamity. Goodness gracious. To proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord, mm -hmm. the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. Now, do you tie that with Acts 1 8? When the Holy Spirit come upon you, mm -hmm. look what Jesus said now. He said the Spirit of the Lord was up on him. It was up on, look at, look at what I'm showing you now. Up on him, not just in him. Salvation, he comes to live in you. Mm -hmm. All right, Lordship, he comes up on you for service. Yes. Isn't that right? Luke 14 is about serving, isn't it, mm -hmm. Sugar? That's about serving. It's about serving. It's about, so, but without Lordship, there is no power to serve. That's right. What you think? That's right. Sure. It says that the, anyone that believes, that believes that's right. the first criteria, is that you believe. And it says that he that believes uh, expressly, then he tells us what he'll do. Um, let me go back there. Um, John 14. I'm sorry, John 20, 19 and 20. You talking about receive the Holy Spirit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. John twenty. Um, John twenty nineteen through. I'm sorry, John fourteen. That's what I wanted, because he tells them expressly that um, if you believe on him, the works that he do, the works that he did, you can do. Mm -hmm. And greater works than these, mm. because I go to the Father. Well, first of all, the works that he did was miracles, signs, and wonders. Okay. Those were the works that Jesus did, and mm. those are the works that he's telling us that we can do. Right. Then he tells us greater works we can do, because he goes to the Father, and that greater works is to offer salvation. Mm -hmm to those that are lost. Yeah. So the works are the works that he did on earth. The greater works are the works we can do because he came and then he left and sent the Holy Spirit back to offer salvation. You know, one of the greatest things we see in Jesus' life now mm -hmm. is his evangelistic tools. Yeah. All right, watch this now. When evangelism is done correctly, it's with miracles, signs, and wonders. Jesus evangelized with miracles, signs, and wonders. Mm -hmm. He didn't talk to people about going to hell. See, he didn't talk to them about going mm -hmm. to hell. He said heaven has came to earth. Kingdom is about heaven came to earth. But what he did, though, was demonstrated what it was when heaven came to earth. Miracles, signs, and wonders. He, he, he came to destroy the works of the devil. Can you believe that we as believers having the same Holy Spirit, and allowing him to teach us how to be the Lord, be the ruler, mm -hmm. be the master, be the source of everything. Because when we think about lordship now, you've got to start believing he wants to be the source of everything. Yes. When he's the source of everything, now watch this now. Verse Thessalonians 5. Mm -hmm. 23 says, The very God of peace will sanctify you wholly. Your whole spirit, soul, body, state, yes, right? Mm -hmm. You'll be blameless until he comes. Faithful to you who call you also will do it. Can you see now, allowing the Holy Spirit to give you a revelation of who you are in Christ? Yes. What yes. about that? Yes, yes. Do you know what true humility is? Now, true humility is accepting the truth about yourself from the Father's perspective and not yours. Hmm. True humility. Yeah. Is accepting your true identity from the Father's perspective and not yours. Let me make this plain, though. Okay. What would it be like for our four girls 
to say, we don't believe we're your children. It won't work. You, but can you understand, catch mm-hmm. what I'm showing you, family? Mm-hmm. Our four daughters say, but we really don't believe we deserve the benefits of being your daughters. So we, 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 we all right. We don't believe we're supposed to have the benefits of being your daughter. Then the two of us would be disappointed, I'm right, one says, in their attitude toward our generosity. Because our thing is, but you're our four girls. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything in life has been wrapped around our relationship with the four of you all to mm-hmm. grow you up in the things of the Lord. Mm-hmm. So for you all to say, you don't believe you deserve the benefits, but that, that's really hurting us. Do you know if you get born again and don't believe that everything Jesus paid for you supposed to have, that you're walking in pride? Mm-hmm. You hadn't humbled yourself. Mm-hmm. Cause when you humble yourself, watch this now. You believe we love Apostle James' grandchildren. You know his granddaughters. Uh, his pocketbook belonged to his granddaughter. It really don't belong to him. <laughs> and then when her when her brother found out that she didn't took possession of something, he come right behind her and do the same thing, knowing now. That he's qualified to get it. That's right. He has that same relationship. He got that same relationship. That's right. Do you know the Holy Spirit wants to show you that you have the same relationship? That same relationship. Our foundation, 1 John 4, 17, says, Herein is love made perfect. Listen to this now. Herein is love made perfect that you can decide every day to believe the truth from the Father's perspective mm-hmm. and not your opinion. That as Jesus is... So are you in this world. Mm-hmm. Come on, talk. Come on, talk. Oh, my goodness. Sonship is so important because yeah. it's <clears throat> offered to everyone, but you can't enjoy the benefits of, the, of it until you receive it. Mm-hmm. You have to receive sonship. Yeah. It's offered to everyone. Yes. And we um, that have already accepted sonship, have a job to do to go out and evangelize and offer that same sonship that we have received to others because that's part of what being a son does. Whatever the father or whatever the assignment the father gives you, Mm -hmm. that's what you carry out. And this is the assignment that we as children of God uh, have now and that's to go out into the highway, hedges, and byways and to bring other people in so that they can enjoy this same sonship. So as sons, we serve. We're not servants, but as sons and daughters, that sonship causes us to serve. One of the characteristics of sonship is service. You know, Jesus said he came to seek and save that what was law, but he also said mm-hmm. this too. Mm-hmm. He said, I came to serve and not be served. Mm-hmm. Listen to how powerful this verse is, though. Because we, the emphasis now is on lordship because of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Watch what the Holy Spirit came to do. In John 14, 26, it says something so precious. It describes the Holy Spirit. Watch this. As an ambassador. Isn't that rich? Yes. It describes the Holy Spirit as an ambassador. But why? Wait now. First, no, 2 Corinthians 5, right? 20 say we ambassadors too, right? Mm -hmm. So Paul, we join up with the Holy Spirit, two ambassadors together. Look at what the Holy Spirit came to do, though. In John 14, 26, the Holy Spirit came to be our comforter, Mm -hmm. counselor, helper, Intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and standby. Now, Jesus was all of that Mm -hmm. to the first disciples. Now, the Holy Spirit is all of that to every believer. Watch what it says. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father sent, right? The Father sent the Holy Spirit, right? As an ambassador. I want you to hear what I'm saying by the ambassador now. As an ambassador, right? 
He came in Jesus' name. What does that mean, though? He had all the authority mm -hmm. that Jesus had, right? Mm -hmm. He came in Jesus' place. Yes. He came to represent Jesus, right? And to act on his behalf. But is that not us? Mm -hmm. That's the same identity for the Holy Spirit and for every believer, right? Right. Can you see agreeing with this? Mm -hmm. Watch this now. The Holy Spirit will teach us all things. How about that? See, you, 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 you're qualified to learn because you have the mind of Christ. You see, you're already qualified to learn. The Holy Spirit is in you to help you now develop what you already have. Do you know you got the same brain you had when you were born with, baby? Mm -hmm. You didn't get a different brain. No. You just develop right. what you already had. Mm -hmm. To be born again, you already have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit comes to help us develop what we got. How much will he teach us? All, All things. What about this? Calls us to recall. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. What about remind us of? Mm -hmm. Bring to our remembrance everything he showed us. Look what he said now. I'll help you with everything. That's what he said. See, I'll help. Watch this family. He wants to do that for you. Mm -hmm. Look, baby, read this. Join yourself. Let's see the first thing that Jesus said he wanted us to enjoy and the Holy Spirit gives us the ability to enjoy what first? Peace. Nothing broke, nothing missing. Can you see a lifestyle? Jesus saying, I want you to have the same peace, the same watch it, relationship, the same nature, really. Peace is a part of his nature. Remember the fruit of the Spirit? Mm -hmm. Love, joy, peace is a part of his nature, right? Look what you say. He said, what I do? Peace I leave with you. Look at that. My own peace I now give and bequeath to you. Mm -hmm. Not as the world gives mm -hmm. do I give to you. Mm -mm. Do not let your hearts be troubled, okay. neither let them be afraid. Yeah. Stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed. And do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. Now, how does that happen with the help of the Holy Ghost? Right, through sonship, See? by the power of the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit teaching you about Lordship, watch this. Mm -hmm. You're walking this perfect peace, because it's perfect peace. Yes, it is. I'm talking perfect peace, but cast out all fear, right? This perfect peace will have your mind in a state, all right, like his, where, where there's nothing broken, nothing mm -hmm. missing. Your emotions are intact. See, that's the deal. Did you see all these things, though? I see it. You won't. You you won't let your heart be troubled. Mm -mm. Hmm? You, you won't allow yourself to be afraid. See, you won't allow yourself to be agitated, disturbed. You won't permit yourself to be fearful, intimidated. How, how, why is it? Because I got help. Because I have help. See, because I got help now. Religion tell you, you got to work out your soul salvation by yourself. Mm -hmm. Grace says you have to partner with the Holy Spirit. That's right. And then Lordship gives you the advantage that comes with letting him love mm -hmm. you. Watch this now. And you learn how to submit. Hmm? The greatest right. act is letting him love you first. John 4, 4 19. We love him because he loved because us first. See, we're not going to ever get away from the foundation because the foundation gives you everything else. He loves you first. Watch this. But he wants to love you like this till you want him to be the Lord of your life, not just the Savior. Mm -hmm. The Lord of your life is when you can live in Psalms 23. Hmm? And then what does it say? The Lord is. The Lord is. The Lord is my shepherd. See, the Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. King James, I shall not want. I shall not want. Right? Why? Because he's my source. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my source. And because the Lord is my source now, watch it. Oh, here we go, shepherd. He supplied uh, Every. all my need. Mm -hmm. According to his riches and glory. Wait, wait, not, not my job. Jesus, right. Mm, not nothing else now. Relationship is based on him being the source. Mm -hmm. But unless you allow him to love you, 
till you trust him to be the Lord of your life, you always got to try to figure how you going to do. That's right. Because when you when he says, peace I leave with yeah, you, yeah. and not just some random peace, he mm -mm. says, my own my peace, own peace. Yeah. I give yes. and bequeath to you. Yeah. And see, the, the disciples saw how he walked in peace. Right. They would come and tell him about something that was happening, and he was always at peace about it. Yes, sir. And it's that same peace, same peace that the disciples saw him walking yes. in that he leaves to us now. Yeah. So when we submit to the sonship, mm -hmm. when we submit to being his shepherd, I mean his sheep, and allow him to be our shepherd, the same peace that the shepherd has, the sheep has. Look at this truth. Let's back up now mm -hmm. a little bit in 14. Okay. I just want you to see some things about how Jesus felt about the Holy Spirit. Jesus called the Holy Spirit the spirit of freedom. Tie this verse now to John 8, 31, 32. Jesus said, what? You shall know the truth, and, and the, the truth, truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. Talking about itself, didn't he? Mm -hmm. So he go, he, he's equating who? the Holy Spirit with him, right? Mm -hmm. But he's saying he your freedom now. Okay. Hmm? The spirit of freedom, the spirit of truth is the spirit of freedom. It's by relationship, though. Whom the world cannot receive, welcome, take it to heart, because it does not see him or no one recognize him. But you know him and recognize him. Watch this. For he shall be with you continuously. He, he shall be with you continuously, and he shall be in you. Watch this. And we know him being in you is not all he wants. Hmm? He didn't want to just be in Jesus. He was in Jesus when? Baby, do you know from the time that angel told Gabriel that the Holy Ghost was going to put Jesus in her? The Holy Ghost was there? From the time... The angel told, told Mary. Mary, okay. About mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost. Right, right. The Holy Ghost was there. Yes. With that seed. Hmm? The Holy Waiting Ghost is always to, in Jesus. Waiting for her to say, See? okay. Always in Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit, right? When, watch this. When Mary, listen to this thing. This is so precious right here. When Mary went to Elizabeth's house, what happened? The baby leaped. The baby leaped. What? The Holy Ghost mm -hmm. had the baby leap in Jesus and what? Bear witness. But the same spirit yes, that yes, was in John yes, the Baptist. Yes, yes. Why? Because John the Baptist was a miracle too. Yeah, he was. Remember? Yes. Can you all see how powerful mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is mm -hmm. to Jesus? Mm -hmm. What he wants to be to us? He wants to love us like he loved Jesus. Watch this though. And come up on us to serve. That's true. Like he did Jesus. Because mm -hmm. it's about serving. Yeah, it's about loving people. About being a servant, yeah. right? Because you can't mm -hmm. really serve people if you don't love. You can't do it. You can go through the motion of doing something. Right. But when you actually love someone, mm -hmm. that love is in you, yeah. then you serve them. His love. His love is all about serving. Mm -hmm. You're talking about his love is all about mm -hmm. giving. When you understand lordship now, what he wants you to do is give to you first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You got to catch it. Don't think they're selfish. You cannot give what you don't have. No, you can't. So he wants to give it to you first. Can't be a carrier. You see it? If you ain't got it. He wants to give to you first, mm -hmm. then use you as a distributor in your world to love people. And he wants you to be sensitive to the needs of people because Jesus performed miracles, signs, and wonders. And we, a lot of times we think of miracles as some great feat that we do. But a lot of times a miracle can be defined by the recipient of that miracle. An example can be if you are hungry and you don't know how you're going to eat, 
-hmm. You don't see any way you're going to eat. Mm -hmm. You and your family don't have any way to eat. Mm -hmm. And you come and bring food to them. To them, that's a miracle. Absolutely. So, see, when we are being led by the Spirit, then he will direct our paths into what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. You know, we talked about this this morning. Um, when Jesus said, I was hungry and you fed me. Mm -hmm. I was in prison and you came mm -hmm. to see me. Mm -hmm. Those were miracles to the recipients mm -hmm. because they didn't have any way to do it in and of themselves. Just like when Jesus performed miracles, the blind man couldn't make himself see mm -hmm. or he'd have been seeing all along. Jesus did that for him, yeah. something that he couldn't do for himself. The same way a miracle is providing something for someone that they couldn't provide for themselves. Can you see a miracle being a perfectly timed act of love? That's right. Look what, you, look what I said now. A miracle mm -hmm. is a perfectly timed act of love. Okay. We heard one coming down. Joel Ostrom took a lady's trash can in, and 20 years later, somebody remembered him taking a trash can in and gave him faith. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You can't connect the two. See, we, we're talking about the Holy Ghost. That's right. Keeping a record, remember now, Everything you do in the kingdom is a seed for your own personal harvest mm -hmm. at some given time. Mm -hmm. Catch what I showed you now. Mm -hmm. Everything you do in the kingdom in the name of Jesus is supernatural because there's seed, time, and harvest. And in Genesis 8, see, the principle works. Well, most people never work the principle because most folks spend most of their life doing good deeds. Mm -hmm. They're not a farmer. They don't know about sowing and reaping. That's right. All I do, everybody, is sow and reap. Hmm? Love the word of the Lord. Whatever kind deed I do, I, should, I do it as unto the Lord. That's right. But I'm always expecting a harvest. Not from, watch it, that person, but from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because I do it as unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. Watch it. The Lord say, he will reward me. Mm -hmm. so I will never have to get frustrated. Well, I'm going to do your favor so you can do me one. No, 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 mm, no, no. I'm going to sow a seed into you in Jesus' name, knowing hmm, that he wants you over the seed. That's right. Because the seed is a demonstration of the word. Remember Jeremiah 1? Mm -hmm. hmm? He said, well, I watch over my word to perform it. What's the word? Seed, time, and heart. Seed, time, and heart. So my words are seeds. My deeds are seeds. My actions are seeds. So when I do it like that, I can expect a harvest. Amen. We've got three minutes now. Let me do something so amazing. Okay. You can join the family today. Yes, you can. You can join the family today. You might not know Jesus, but he know you. I didn't know Jesus. The three of us didn't know Jesus. He knew us. Mm -hmm. He sent us up to encounter love in an awesome way that we could get born again and start an eternal love affair with him. And because you're listening to us, he wants to start an eternal love affair with you. Yes, he does. You have to admit that you need him. Mm -hmm. Is that too simple? Your sins are not an issue with him because he paid for your sins. Yes. What is an issue now, will you believe he paid for your sins? And receive See, that salvation. Receive your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Once you start this love affair where you want him to be your savior, you want him to baptize you in the Holy Ghost. Once you, then the Holy Ghost show you how to allow Jesus to become that shepherd. Be your Lord. Oh, right. he want to be your shepherd. He want mm -hmm. to be your shepherd. Well, we're going to have an agreement now because I would have ran out mm -hmm. of time. I don't okay. know. I wish I could make time stop sometime. It, Okay. It looked like it run too fast. 
Well, let's agree, say, Father. Father, I saw something I else. I saw something else about how valuable. About how valuable the Holy Spirit the was. The Holy Spirit was to Jesus. To Jesus, I desire to learn. I desire to learn how to allow the Holy Spirit. How to allow the Holy to be Spirit that valuable to me. To be that valuable and I trust to me. You and I trust to you to help me learn. To help me in learn. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We love you all so yes, much. We're we gonna do. do this again next week. Now, yes. Talking about. How valuable the Holy Spirit was to Jesus and how valuable he wants to be to you. See you next week. Go out and be a blessing. Because you're already blessed. Because you're already blessed.